Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create your own SVG designs using the free graphic design program, Inkscape. If you don't have this program and would like to give it a try, I invite you to download it from inkscape.org. I'm going to link it in the video description below. Open Inkscape. And first, we're going to prepare the working area. Go to File, click on Document Properties, and you're going to see this window. Change it to inches. You may work on a letter size if you wish. My working area will be 12 by 12 inches. Close the window. And this is the canvas where I will be creating my design. Now I will add text. Click on the A, then click on the canvas and start typing. This font is called Mona Lisa, but I will be using different fonts. Select the text using the arrow on top. Click on the T on the right and you will be able to see the list of the fonts you have installed on your computer. Scroll down until you find the one of your liking. If you already know the name of the font, go to the top left corner and type the name of the font. The font I will be using first is called Leslie. If you like any of the font used for this design, find the link in the video description below. First line is ready. Now I will change the font on the next line. Select the text. You may search the font here on the right, or if you know the name, just type it on the top left. This one is called Mystery Sans. I will change it to uppercase. Arrange the text to form the design. This font on the top line gives you the option to add beautiful glyph to the letters. I will show you how to add those details. I will add glyph to the letter H and E. To add those beautiful details, we will need to use the Character Map UWP program. It is a free program that you may use on your Windows computer. If you don't have it on your computer, find the link in the video description below. Select the letter, go to Character Map UWP, look for the same font that you are using on Inkscape. The font that I am using on Inkscape is called Leslie. So I'm going to look for that same font here on Character Map UWP. Scroll down to find the glyph, select it, click on Copy, go back to Inkscape and click on Control V or Paste. As you can see, the letter already has a beautiful glyph. I will do the same process for the letter E. And there is the design, simple but beautiful. We may leave it like this, but I will add more details to it. I will use a font that is called Sweetie Almira Extras. This Sweetie Almira Extras, instead of text, types beautiful clip art that we may use to enhance our designs. I love to use this Sweetie Almira Extras. I will link it in the video description down below. The clip art or image that I will be using is on the letter R. I'm going to resize it and I will place it over here. If you wish to rotate, just click on the arrow up here and it will rotate it. 
Now I'm going to duplicate it and place another one on top. Right click and duplicate. And the design is ready to be saved as PNG. I will show you how to save it on PNG first and then I will show you how to save it on SVG format. Go to the right, click on export, try to save it at 300 dpi to obtain a high quality design. Then click on this folder. Open the folder where you wish to save it, type the name and click on save. Now you already know how to save PNG designs. These ones have transparent background. Now I'm going to show you how to save it on SVG format. Select all the layers, go to path, click on object to path, then click on object, Click on group, go to path again, and click on union. Now there is the design already converted into SVG format. As you remember, these branches were added using the fonts. Now if you wish to add a JPEG or PNG image, the process will be different. For example, on this design, I added an image. I will show you how to convert an image into SVG. I will insert the image, go to File, click on Import, open the folder where you have your image, select it and open it. And here, click OK. Select the image and resize it. Click on the lock to lock it, change it to inches, and resize it to your liking. This image has transparent background, but is not in SVG format. Now to convert it to SVG, click on the top arrow, select it, go to Path, click on Trace Bitmap, and you are going to see this window on the right. Now click on single scan and click on apply. Now the top layer is the SVG design. You can erase the one on the bottom. Now the image is ready to be added to your design. Now I'm going to go back to the design that I was working before to show you how to save it on SVG format. Saving it to SVG is a bit different than saving it to PNG format. Go to File, click on Save As, select the folder where you wish to save it, name it, and here on the second line you're going to select plain SVG. Then click on save. Now you already know how to create designs on Inkscape and how to save them in PNG and SVG format. These designs are perfect to work with any cutting machine like Cricut, Camel or any other cutting machine. Also you can use them to engrave on a laser machine. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.